Did you have a good birthday, Tofu? Yes, very much. And look at all the lovely gifts you've got. Uh, yes. Why? What's wrong? Mm, nothing is wrong, but I just thought Grandmom could have got me a better gift than the single rose flower. Tofu, that's not a nice thing to say. You didn't notice her love for you that made her fly all the way across the country to be with you today. Love? But that's not a gift. Maybe you'll think differently once you hear the story of the Snow Queen. The Snow Queen Once upon a time, in a small village lived two neighbours who were best friends too. Their names were Gerda and Kay. They loved each other a lot. As a symbol of their friendship and love, one day they both planted a rose plant each in their front yards. Every morning, they would get together and water their plants and take care of them. When winters came, Gerda invited Kay. Why don't you come over in the afternoon? My grandma has promised to make us a cup of hot chocolate and tell us a story. Okay Gerda, I will come over after finishing my chores. As promised, Kay went to Gerda's home in the afternoon. Tell us the story of the Snow Queen, Grandmama. Bah! There is no Snow Queen. Do you still believe in such stories? Little did Kay know that the Snow Queen did exist. And she had a magic mirror with which she could look at anybody. And right at that moment, she was looking into Gerda's living room where they sat. Doesn't believe in me, does he? I will send him my ice arrows that will turn him cold. All the love will be gone from his eyes and his heart will freeze over. And the Snow Queen sent her ice arrows towards Kay. As soon as they entered Gerda's home, they went straight for Kay's eyes and heart. Ouch! My eyes! What's happening? They hurt! What is wrong, Kay? Ouch! My heart! It hurts too! Kay, what's wrong? Are you okay? Suddenly, Kay's whole behavior changed towards Gerda. Oh, stop being such a wimp, Gerda. Nothing is wrong. Get away from me. Saying so, he shoved Gerda aside and went home. Over the next few days, he would give cold, mean looks to Gerda and would never talk to her nicely. He wouldn't even come to tend to the roses that they had planted. One morning, when Gerda was watering the plants, she saw Kay get into a carriage with a lady who was wearing a white gown. She had skin like diamonds and her hair was silver white. Gerda immediately knew that it was the Snow Queen. She decided to follow her but the carriage just vanished into thin air. 
So she went to her grandmama. Here, take this hand mirror and follow what it tells you. The mirror only tells you the truth. Gerda took the mirror from her grandma and looked into it. The mirror told her to find the flower garden. So Gerda went looking for it. Meanwhile, once the Snow Queen reached the palace, she told Kay to make it his home from now on. This is your home now. You will never leave here. And once your heart freezes over, you will be mine forever. Back in the village, Gerda found the flower garden and entered it. The garden was full of the most beautiful flowers Gerda had ever seen. She fell in love with them immediately. But there was no smell of the flowers. Surprised, Gerda bent down and touched one of the flowers to understand if they were real. As soon as she touched one flower, the fragrances of all flowers returned and the flower lady appeared in front of her. Thank you! You have returned the fragrance of my flowers. Who are you? I am the owner of this garden. I am the flower lady. Can you help me? Have you seen my friend Kay pass through here? He has been taken by the Snow Queen. Oh no! The Snow Queen! She is one who had taken away the fragrance of my flowers. I did not see Kay cross from here. But you should try the river outside the village. Gerda thanked the flower lady and went to the river. There she saw a boat waiting for her. She climbed into the boat and it took her to the pirate ship. Aboard the ship, Gerda saw many pirates including a girl pirate. Hello, can you help me? I am looking for my friend Kay. The Snow Queen has taken him. I don't know any Kay. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Because once aboard the pirate ship, you can't go anywhere. You have to be here. No, please, you have to let me go. Kay is my friend. I have to save him. Friend, you say? <laughs> well, I have never had a friend. Okay, I will help you if you promise to be my friend. Yes, of course. I would love to be your friend. Okay then. Take my reindeer. He is the fastest reindeer in the world. And she knows where the Snow Queen's palace is. Gerda thanked the pirate girl and climbed on the back of the reindeer. Just as the pirate girl had promised, the reindeer had Gerda outside the Snow Queen's palace in no time. Gerda got off the reindeer and went inside the palace. Kay? Kay? Are you in here? What are you doing here? I am here to take my friend back with me. <laughs> Your friend doesn't exist anymore. Look at him, standing there in the corner. 
Just in a few minutes, his heart will freeze over and then he will be mine forever. Gerda turned to see where the Snow Queen had pointed. In the corner stood Kay. His lips were blue and eyes were steely cold. Gerda rushed to him. Kay, it's me, your friend. When Kay didn't reply, she reached out for his hand. His old friend's touch returned the color in Kay's eyes. Encouraged by this change, Gerda pushed on. Remember all the times we had fun at home? And our roses that we have in the front yard? There is no point in all this. His heart will freeze soon. Hearing this, Gerda broke down and started crying. As she was crying, her tears rolled down from her eyes and onto the hands of Kay. As soon as that happened, Kay looked up at Gerda and smiled. Gerda, my friend, you came for me. This is impossible. Nothing can ever turn my curse over. She tried to pull Gerda away from Kay. And that's when Grandma's mirror fell out of Gerda's pocket. When the Queen looked into it, it spoke to her. Snow Queen, you have been mistaken. There is one power stronger than your curse. And it is the power of love. Hearing this truth, the Snow Queen started crying and soon dissolved in a pool of her own tears. Oh, now I feel so terrible, Tia. I think I have not been fair to Grandmom. Well, you still have time to make things better, Tofu. Yeah, you are right, Tia. I will go to her and apologize right away. Don't forget to give her a kiss and a big hug.